Good evening and welcome to a special Thursday edition of In the Paint with High School Girls Basketball Sectionals. Get in the spotlight tomorrow night. Many of our area boys basketball teams schedule their games this week for tonight, including Terre Haute North. The Patriots had a tough one. They were at Class 4A, second-ranked Indy North Central. Never easy for our teams to travel over to Indy. Second quarter, North Chris O'Leary, the Rainbow 3, North Trail 15-11 to 11 at this point. Justin Gant attacked the 10 tonight. Like always, the North big fellow rocking the rim with a two-handed flush. Gant had four ducks in the game. Here's another one. We slow mode this one down for you. Gant had 14 points. The Patriots were down by double digits most of the game, but they never quit. Thomas Anderson takes his strong to the rim. He gets baseline for two. North Central beats North tonight 60 to 41. Listen to this stat. North Central shot 30 free throws. Terre Haute North shot none. Interesting stat considering how physical a game it was tonight. Terre Haute South faced Bloomfield for the second time this season. They met earlier in the Pizza Hut Classic. South won that one. Beautiful spin move by Ike Whirl. The South senior led the Braves with 18. South started the game on a 12-0 run, so Bloomfield was playing catch-up. Bryce Lindsey with the hoop off the nice assist by Andy Cochran. South Joey Etling is Johnny on the spot. He collects the board and scores with a sweet finger roll. South is a big winner tonight, 81-46. to Next up for the Braves is a tough one, a road game Saturday. Saturday at Indy North Central. Northview was also in action tonight. The Knights were at South Putnam. South Putts, Cameron Chestnut rattles home a three. That put the Eagles down by just three. Great give and go play by Northview Jordan Van Horn to Dylan Reynolds for the reverse. Northview builds a five point lead at 36 31 in the third quarter. Fourth quarter, the Knights, Jonathan Bradshaw flies in for the board and bucket. The Knights earn a nice road win this evening. Northview wins. 49-46, the Knights pick up their third win of the season. You had to kind of feel sorry for Owen Valley tonight. The Patriots had the daunting task of facing Washington tonight after a loss. The last opponent this season to face the now 14-2 Hatchets after a defeat was Pike Central, and Washington pounded them by 38. The Hatchets also had a special guest on hand tonight. North Carolina head basketball coach Roy Williams was at the Hatchet House tonight watching Cody Zeller, and Zeller put on a good show for Coach Williams. Zeller seen here had 20 points, 11 rebounds. Remember, Coach Williams already has one Zeller on the roster and Tyler. Will he get two? We'll have to wait and see for that. Dylan Irvin scores off the miss for Washington. He had 10 points. Cody Vest did his best to try to keep OB in it. He hits the three. Too much Washington tonight. The Hatchets roll 78-35. to They're now 15-2 and on the season. Coach Roy Williams saw the Hatchets play some pretty good basketball tonight. Also down south, Bar Bar-Reeve was out South Knox. The Vikings, Brandon Graver scores in traffic to give Bar-Reeve a two-point lead. More Bar-Reeve. The little guy, Trey Hughes, playing down low with the trees. Hughes scores in his foul. No little guy here. South Knox's 6'9", Mitchell Patton, had no problem scoring over anybody. This was a close game tonight, but it was Bar-Reeve coming out on top on the road. Nice win for Bar-Reeve as the Vikings win 46 41 over South Knox. At South Vermillion, the Wildcats were looking for win number 11 on the season as they hosted Rockville. Into the first half, Southeast Dylan Rayer drills the corner three to give the Wildcats a 23-22 halftime lead. I'll tell you what, that corner three was a spot to be on the floor tonight. First play of the second half, Rockville's Joel Wittenmeyer buries a three in the same exact spot. The difference in this game was the third quarter. Jordan McFall banks in two for Rockville. The Rocks outscore the Wildcats by 10 and in the third quarter, Rockville. How about this? They pull an upset over South Vermillion, 52-43. The Rocks pick up their biggest win of the season. There was another Vermilion Park County battle at North Vermilion as the Falcons entertained River to Park. First quarter, RP's Derek Engel with the high arcing three. It's good. The Panthers trailed after that shot by four. Lane Clark just abuses the defender down low. The North v, North v sophomore, he's going to be a really good player. North Vermilion wins a close one, 77-73 over Riverton Park.